Hello everybody, welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy in the last episode. We did the purple comet stars of the my god I can't think of stuff today. Terra Stone, thank you. And in this episode we're gonna be doing the fountain purple comet stars, starting with the Battle Rock Galaxy, which is most infamous for its difficulty. Yeah. But in actuality, it's not that hard. For some reason, I managed to do it on my first try. Therefore, logic dictates that I'm probably going to fail a lot. There's going to be definitely a lot of cutting unless I just jinx myself to say that I was going to fail. And then, which I jinx myself that I wasn't and therefore I'm not going to fail. I don't think I said that right, but okay. Anyways, so, for some god-awful random reason, it decides to start you off on this thing. Because it's an asshole. And the camera angle wants to be weird. I don't know why. And you gotta keep jumping. And jumping. And jumping. And this is one of the few... Uh, this is the uh, Dreadnought Galaxy. The ones that say, If you don't get a purple coin, then fuck you! Yeah, one purple coin missed, and you're gonna have to start the whole thing over again. A little slip up, and you're dead. Not dead, literally, but... You know, like, dead as in you're screwed. Oh, god, you gotta jump for that! I think. No, you don't really have to jump for it. But anyways. Yeah, so this one isn't that hard, but it can be annoying when you can't figure out the controls for the life of you. Like right now. For instance, oh god. Yeah, and this part is kind of annoying because the controls are weird. Oh god. Yeah, and for some reason they decided to put in this weird funky tech No! Remix of the, uh, you know, Gusty... Gusty Garden Galaxy theme. Okay, stop that. And now I died. And now I'm screwed. So therefore, it's only logical that I gotta kill myself. Because I messed up. Yeah. You mess up, you gotta start the whole thing over again. And because I was too... Yeah, like I said, cutting is gonna be abundant here. And I'm dead. Yay, happy face. White Mario, for some reason. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Get in all the stars here can be quite difficult because the controls like to screw you up when your warps are down because they don't like you very much and the game is sadistic, motherfucking sadistic, sadistic, sadistic. Right. Alright, there we go. No. Alright, there we go. Come on, we're almost there. This is like the dance mix to Gusty Garden Galaxy. Can you, you can totally imagine a guy just beatboxing into this for some reason. I don't know why I'm just put that mental image in your guys' head. But, whatever. Anyway, so with that, we magically get all 100 purple coins with relative difficulty and so we gotta walk run 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 and look who it is this is freak again hey hey very nice yeah thank you I guess we got a power star one of the horror the ones in the game that's what she said all right so after that little weirdness let's go back into the galaxy place of purgatoriness and, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes. And I'm guessing you're gonna need to move the comet again. If I'm right, I'll see you uh, in a bit, but if I'm wrong, you'll all see it right now. I'm wrong. Huzzah for being wrong. Let's go inside, shall we? Alright, so, 
The Purple Comet of the Space Junk Galaxy is entitled Purple Coin Spacewalk. Eh, iffy difficulty. It's not that hard. Then again, it's not really easy. Basically, you gotta go through this little curmudgeon of stuff. But there's a difference this time. It may look easy because there's, they're in clumps, but guess what? You got a time limit! Two minutes you gotta get this star. And to be honest, any path you take is relatively easy. And I think there's only a couple of clumps of these things, so... I'm not all that worried about not getting the star because there's a most guarantee that I am gonna get it. Because this is kind of easy. And since there's only a few clumps... You're... Well, now, okay, now I'm getting lost. Hooray for jinxing myself. I hate it when I do that. And as you can tell, yes, this is a completely different pattern from what we saw before. Only because the game is weird. And now I am getting lost. After I said it's not hard to get lost. And now I'm getting lost. And oh my god, if I got to jump, I almost died. Holy crap, I'm gonna talk as fast as I can get to die. Oh my god, Metal Gear. Why did I just throw in that random effort in there? Okay, stop talking fast and trying to look for a way to get out of here. Whoa. Okay, that was close. Very, very close. Jump. So keep walking and oh, tab it. Jump. Call around. And there's only two more. One more. And I think a blue platform, when it's just by itself with no other things beside it, means it's a dead end. But yeah, it is kind of a dead end. All right. So that gets us the power star. Of magic! Alright, and we still got the time limit running! Yeah, the game's kind of evil like that. Not only do you have to get all the purple coins within the time limit, you still got the time limit to get back to this place. And sometimes you can screw up like that and forget, well, how the hell do I get back there? Well, if you get lost, you'll find out eventually. So, we got a power star! Round number two! Minute time limit! Alright, so that wraps up all of the purple coin comet stars in the fountain dome. Since there was only two of them. Which really wasn't that hard. And that's what she wanted to say, but unfortunately she didn't. Right, let's stop at the lame jokes and lackluster commentary. Get out of the dome! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! That was a terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation impression. I am terribly sorry. Alright, so, oh yeah, I forgot to show you this little doohickey thing. After you talk to that jackass red luma, you can now use this thing and fly around as you please. No, 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 my boy. So let's hop. Hop. Fat. Nope. Okay. Okay. Shortcuts. I'm using shortcuts. So let's cling, cling, cling to the wall. Do a backflip here. I said do a proper backflip. There we go. And we have finally arrived at the kitchen dome after two minutes of doing nothing. Yay. So. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be doing the Ghostly Galaxy's Purple Comet mission thing. So until then, see you later and goodbye.